state investigation released today found no criminal wrongdoing, but uncovered major breakdowns in communication by the State Department of Education. And tonight, several lawmakers say that investigation did not look into all of their concerns. News for Spencer Humphrey is here with what those lawmakers want to see happen next. Spencer? Yeah, guys. Well, on one hand, those investigation findings revealed today have people like State Superintendent Ryan Walters claiming since investigators didn't find a crime, this proves he's doing a good job. But then you have some legislators who say this investigation did not look into enough of their concerns with Walters, still leaving them with many questions. This all began back in August when we brought you a report revealing the Oklahoma State Department of Education was trying to deprive schools of safety and security funds they'd previously told them they'd be able to keep. It led Republican Mark McBride to say this about State Superintendent Ryan Walters. I hate to use the word impeachment, but I, th I think we're getting to that point. And to find out if things were truly to that point, McBride called for an all-encompassing House investigation into OSDE. You may remember more than two dozen House Republicans signed on to a letter in support of that, but House Speaker Charles McCall said he wouldn't consider it unless many more signed on. But then shortly after that, McCall did approve the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency to open its own limited investigation into how OSDE handled its spending on five specific issues, including those school security funds, emergency asthma inhaler funds, Title I funds, funding for certain teacher pay raises, and maternity leave funding. The investigation wrapping up on Tuesday, finding no criminal wrongdoing on OSDE's part, but concluding OSDE had major communication failures that could have prevented these issues from ever happening. Walters claiming vindication on Tuesday. And look, the people of Oklahoma see through it. They see how absurd this is. And so the whole thing is built on a lie. As for McBride. I was wanting to investigate more. He's still waiting for more, telling us this investigation didn't look into all the issues that led him and others to question whether Walters is fit to serve. I still think there needs to be some accountability on the travel that I've seen. We told you records we found show Walters and his top advisors are spending tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars on out-of-state trips for media appearances, partisan events, and retreats. So I think there's a problem there. And the Loft investigation released Tuesday didn't look into that issue. I just felt like there were not, there were not enough areas that were uh, reviewed by Loft. State Rep Melody Blancet says she shares McBride's concerns on the travel spending and also has concerns with the rising stack of legal bills at OSDE. Records we found showing OSDE spent more than $104,000 on attorneys to defend lawsuits between March and July. I do think it is our responsibility to make sure that the resources of the state are being used wisely. It's why she's calling for Loft to immediately extend its investigation to include those topics. No one has access to all the information, and so the speculation is off the charts. We've got to get to a point where we can just get factual answers and end the speculation. And we have a link to the Loft Investigation's full findings up for you to read right now on KFOR.com. Thank you, Spencer.